what's going on good people welcome back to another episode of trading my funded account today is december 27 2023 it's day number 54 we made some trades today so let's get into it so first and foremost let's talk about yesterday's closing price that's very important so that level comes at 37,894 represented by this purple line right here so let's go ahead and get into the trades that we made today so let's talk about trade number one so higher low a right here notice how before we even talk about that notice how we were trading in between the zone between yesterday's closing price and this blue zone that we established in the pre-market and we're pretty much just trading back and forth back and forth from about six o'clock all the way until the market opened at 9 30. we had a little sell-off but after that once the market opened prices spiked back all the way up into that zone pushed back above it a little bit came back to form a higher low at the bottom of the zone and that's a very bullish sign now when it comes to higher lows like higher low a higher low a is an example of a higher low that doesn't get retested so in cases like these i can go long at the previous swing high instead so a lot of times like i did on um, trade b i'll look for a higher low to get formed and then i'll go long as prices come back and retest that higher lows support level but sometimes you won't get a retest when a higher low gets made so in situations like that if you see that the trend is clearly up um and only if the trend is clearly up then you have another option where you can go long at the previous swing high so that's what i did right here at trade one notice how the entry that i have if you follow it to the left it pretty much aligns with the previous swing high that got established right when the market opened so i went long right there and then i just took that back up to yesterday's closing price and that's when i got out so after that prices continued to move higher they created a second higher low at higher low b and that's where i went long so I went long right here at trade number two at the retest of higher low B. The only thing was I went long too far away from support right here. And when it comes to the higher low strategy, you give yourself a better chance of having success the closer you go long towards support. You know, the further you are away from support, the more likely it is that your stop gets hit because I trade with a very tight stop. So therefore, I got to go long at the best possible prices. And sometimes you might feel like the move is about to move without you, but just put your order at uh support anyway because more than likely prices are coming back to support and then they'll move on so right here at trade two i went long right here but i was way too far away from uh the support level support level was at 905 i went long at around 911 so that's six points it makes a big difference because my stop right now on this trade was only 10 points uh i think the low for this candle right here was 99 so i could have went long anywhere between six well 906 and 909 and still been able to stay in the trade without having to take a loss right there on trade number two so just a little reminder that when it comes to the higher low strategy no matter how good the situation might look make sure you always go long as close as you can towards support so that was trade number two and then on trade number three i pretty much uh took the same trade as trade number two but only once I saw prices spike back up through the original entry price that I had for trade number two, that's one of the rules that I like to use, which is if you have a trade that um, it aligns with your trading plan, uh, you take it from good levels and it aligns with the overall trend that you're trading in. If prices ever spike back through that same entry price again within the immediate future, so I would say maybe like within the next two to three candles, if they spike through that original entry price, you get back into that trade and you ride that momentum up to your profit target so that's pretty much exactly what i did at trade three re-entered as prices spiked back through my original entry price and then just took it up uh to my 22 point scalp target above and after that i caught it a day was able to end the day in profitable territory made some uh some decent trades um trade two i gotta work on you know that's something i should have been on top of i should have uh been more aware of the fact that the market is not gonna run away from me let me just put my order right here as close as I can to support. But outside of that, I think I did a very good job. I read the trend very well. I was patient. I waited for my exact setups. And when I saw those, I executed in the, the proper way. So I'm happy with my performance today. Today was a good day. I just need to remember to uh, make sure that I go long as close as I can towards support when it comes to those higher lows. And as long as I take care of that, I should be good. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you learned a lot about using the higher low and remembering that sometimes you won't get a retest of the higher low but if prices are still moving and the trend is strong instead of waiting for the recess you can catch prices as they come back and retest the previous swing high so i hope you learned a lot about that as well as making sure that you go long 
as close as you can to war uh, support if you want to use the higher low strategy. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I'll be back tomorrow on December the 27th. Well, December the 28th, 2023. Ready to run it back one more time. But until then, you guys have a good one. Study hard and take it easy.